Okay, what's up guys? Uh, Cody here. Uh, this is another tutorial. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a tutorial for a while on this uh, program. It's been pretty popular lately, uh, Microsoft Words. Um, it's a pretty complex program, but I'll just try to keep it uh, basic just so you learn some of the you know basic functions of this program. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to come down here, uh, open the program. We're going to triple click that. And so that should come right up. Oh, oh, that's, um, uh, we're just going to, don't need to. <laughs> Um, so basically when you uh, open up uh, Word, there should be, uh, this is uh, your your gallery where you can pick from all sorts of different types of uh, what are called documents. Um, you have catalogs, business cards, uh, miscellaneous is a good one. Uh, but for now, we're going to keep it basic. We're just going to go with the basic uh, Word documents. So you're going to want to single click that twice in pretty quick succession. And that should bring it up. All right, so um, this is what's called the Canvas. Um, it's basically your hub for entries into the cloud client. Um, it's your fundamental uh, workflow uh, sequence space, obviously. So um, you'll notice at the top, uh, the name of the document is currently document2. Um, one of the cool features of Word is you can actually um, save as, which means you preserve it under a certain name, sort of like a headstone. Um, so you come up here and it says save as, and uh, you have a lot of options here. Uh, you can basically name it any number you want, document, and then obviously input it via your numeric keys, you could say document uh, three is one of them. Uh, I myself am pretty prolific. I have over uh, 12 documents. So just to be safe, we're going to call this document 14 or 1-4. Uh, and one note here, you're going to want to go with the 97 template. Uh, a lot of people like the, uh, the newer 03 model, but I just think the 97 has a cleaner uh, sequence um, workflow and a lot of experts agree. So we're just, you can just click out of the window right here. Uh, you can just, you just click out. You should be able to get right back in. Oh, that's annoying. All right, well, uh, there's been some issues with my uh, CPU lately, so we're just going to reboot to be safe. We're just going to, oh, can't quit. Um, so we're just going to we're gonna go ahead and not worry about that now. I need to update my uh, RAM processor. It usually works in that program. Okay, so let's say you're doing just your basic document. Just say a letter to your parents so you can run away from home and write Pokemon for a living. Um, basically, you have your keyboard, um, and it works pretty intuitively, although there are a few kinks. So basically, the letters on the keys correspond to the letters that you'll enter uh, into the document. So what do, what do I mean by that? So for example, um, you hit a, there's a key that has the letter G on it. When you hit that key, uh, I believe a G will type, yeah, a G key. Um, or, you know, if you want to type an N key, you would hit, um, give me a second. Yes, yeah, an N key will should type an N. Yep, that comes up pretty easy. Um, there are a couple kinks you want to look out for. Uh, most notably, uh, if you want to you want to type a Q, sometimes that'll look sort of like a backwards P. Um, see how that comes up right there? That so you know could be kind of embarrassing if you want you know you're trying to type the word um, question and you accidentally ask a, a question. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Um, so uh, what? It's it's basically it's a feature that a lot of people don't talk about is um, Microsoft Word's ability to input words. Um, so you're going to take a sequence of these letters to make a word, um, hence the name Microsoft. So um, we're going to, there's, there's another cool feature, uh, it's called the undo key. So it's like uh, undoing is the opposite of doing. So say you did something, like you, you meant to type, you know, happy birthday, for example, um, and then you accidentally typed, you know, you're not my real dad. So you want to undo this, right? So there's actually a quick shortcut um, that I have to do. You hold uh, the command button, and then you hit the Q. The Q will, you know, clear it. So I'm just going to hit that. Um, interesting. Yeah, save, I think. And so, oh, now we're back at this again. I'm sorry, my, my program's been pretty buggy lately. Um, we're actually going to, we're going to come down here and just, we're going to reboot the system just to be safe. Come on. Yeah, the program's got some issues. I, I heard they're going to fix it in the next patch. Uh, we're going to actually have to go up here to force quit. It's just not cooperating at the moment. Uh, yep. Um, this is actually, George Lucas holds the copyright to this. So there that goes. We'll get rid of that. And then again, uh, quick shortcut to open, open Microsoft Word, uh, especially easy if you have the, uh, a Mac trackpad. It's a quick uh, six-finger click, followed by sort of a, a pinching motion, much like you might um, pinch a, like a lobster. It's trying to get away. So it's a quick six-finger click. And you pinch. It should come up pretty quick. Um, we'll just go with it with a new blank document. Um, one other thing you want to know, um, uh, these toolbar features are really handy. Um, so we're just going to use uh, an example word here. Um, 
And so we have this word, and we can do all sorts of different things to it. Um, this button up here is, is the big button. You hit the B, the letters go, they get bigger. Uh, it's convenient. Uh, this I stands for Italian size. So uh, it's obviously a reference to you know how Italian people will sort of, you know, hey, ethnic food. Um, so there goes that. Um, this obviously university U. It's a it's sort of a college, like a college ruled notebook. Uh, this eliminates the first three letters of the alphabet, sort of a literary challenge. Uh, this puts a little two next to all your A's. This puts a lower two next to all your A's. Just basic stuff, uh, fat and underline. Ooh, fonts. I should tell you about fonts. So basically a font um, is a different language of letters, or it's, it's sort of like an accent, you know. Like someone might have an accent, they might be like, hey, I'm not from America. Um, and so, so it sounds kind of different. So basically, um, to input a font, you can basically just type whatever kind of look you're going for. I like sort of a clean look. Um, and you hit Enter Return. And uh, see, I got to update my RAM hotbox. It's been messing up a little bit lately. Uh, let's just go ahead and yes. Um, so yeah, as, as you can see, it cleaned it up pretty well. Um, so let's see. OK, so, so say I, um, so I'm, I'm typing along, and I'm, putting it, I'm inputting my sentence. Um, and I'm pretty, pretty fast at typing right now. Uh, and um, remember, throughout, you're going to want to print it so you have a, um, a literary copy. Every couple of seconds, I'd hit print. Um, and remember, to save your program, there's a quick shortcut. You actually hold down Apple and then hit Q. That'll save your program. Are you kidding me? Yes. Yeah, I want to save it. OK. So that's just, oh my goodness. This is a whole other. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. Mom. Mom. Oh, is Craig here? I'm sorry. No, I'm just making a video. It's a tutorial for... Never mind. Fine. All right. Well, anyway, sorry about that, folks. Uh, my, my, uh, my, my CPU um, has been a little buggy lately. My, uh, my specs are in the description if it's uh, similar for you. Um, but anyway, just leave any questions you have in the comments. Remember, subscribe to my channel uh, for uh, any more videos for when um, you want to do it, but you, you, you don't. You can't. You don't know how. Uh, so anyway, I'm Cody. Um, peace, peace out, you guys.